Hello and welcome to week two of Hamped Up. I'm your host, Connor McClendon, and right now I am standing on David Wright Field where last Friday, the Northampton Blue Devils football team beat Longmeadow for the first time since 1996 before any member on the current Blue Devils roster was even born. The Blue Devils won 36 to 14 as Elijah Davis rushed for four touchdowns for the second straight week. Northampton moves to 2-0 and will now go on the road for four straight games. The football team is not the only team off to a fast start this season. The cross country team is 3-0 and this week I sat down with two members of the team to talk about their expectations for the season. I'm here with Layla Marcusian and Jonathan Dean and we are here to talk about the cross country team. So, first question for you guys. Well, both teams obviously off to fast starts. You won your first two meets, so you got to beat Amherst, which must feel good. Yep. So, what are your goals for the end of the season in terms of where you finish as a team? Uh, I'd say for the boys team, um, definitely win Western Mass is the ultimate goal. So we have a relatively young team um, that has been developing for the past few, year, few years. I think this year is a great accumulation of all the work we've put in. So that's a goal. Um, and on the girls' side, we came into the season ranked number one in Western Mass, and so I hope that we can keep up that standard and hopefully win Western Mass. So this team, the cross-country team, as well as the other track teams at the school, especially since Brandon Palmer came here, it, they've competed at a high level and been very successful. So do you guys ever feel pressure to keep that winning tradition going uh, at Northampton? I think it's important as upperclassmen, we really want to keep that legacy going and show the underclassmen that we are quite the powerhouse and we want to like keep up these high standards that people have for the team. The cross country team, one of the most popular teams in the school, is enormous. Uh, and you guys have the reputation of having great camaraderie. So how do you guys maintain that team chemistry uh, throughout the season with such a big team? We do a lot of things all together, like we do psych, which I know a lot of other teams do, um, where we give each other little gifts throughout the season, and that's um, kind of like a random matchup, so it's a good way to get to know someone else on the team. And uh, we also do some pretty preposterous uh, spirit, spirit themes. Uh, for example, Deep V is something we're doing right now. Uh, I have a Deep V on right now, um, and we'll rip it off right before the race, and I think that's kind of a bonding exercise. Well, that's all we have for this week. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thanks a lot. This season. Thank you. In other sports news, the field hockey team lost their first game of the season, dropping a 3-1 decision to Greenfield on Tuesday. The boys' soccer team tied their first league game 1-1 against Holyoke, and the girls' soccer team remains undefeated at 3-0-2.